What's up everybody, Happy Cow here, and holy, this is bright. Well, that's better. Anyways, uh, welcome back to another video of, uh, well, I guess you can call it another video, but like, we're starting a new devlog, uh, from Roblox, like, that's, that's weird, but like, probably didn't expect it from me, but personally, I had a lot of fun making Roblox games, uh, but like, I would, I would only like, start making them, and then just like, forget about them, I'd be super motivated and stuff, so I wanna make a, a horror game this time, and this time I wanna push myself until I finish the game at least, or at least get a lot of it done until it's playable, right? Uh, so, I'm gonna need some ideas for the game, and, uh, we'll get a look on that one. So, I thought about it for a while, and I think I could make an SCP game. Now, of course, there are a lot of SCP games on Roblox, so what, what kind of game are you gonna make? I have no idea. It took me a whole minute to think about an idea. I don't know why, but I think the, this game is gonna be very successful, or at least I feel like so, because I've never seen a game made like this, so I'm very, very, like, proud of this idea, very positive about this idea. So, I finally came up with an idea, and the idea of the game is a co-op at puzzle scp game now why did i choose this well if you take for example two very great games for example portal 1 or portal 2 and you combine them with an scp game you can't possibly get a bad game so i hope that this idea would be successful because i don't think no one's done this before but yeah let's get to it oh by the way you, you really gotta trust the process so this is me talking after making the video and the game turns out very great like after the first episode i'm so proud of myself it took me it took me a while, but like, still, we got there. Okay, so to start it off, we're gonna need some class D, uh, shirts and pants, or clothes, whatever. Okay, so there are a lot of clothes, but I think these two will do, because basically other ones are not, like, realistic, or they're just not good enough. Sorry for the creators of the clothes, they're, they're, they're fine, but like, not for my game. But, yeah, that, that will do, so, I'll just set it right here. So I'm gonna start off by making the game uh, for in first person because third person just like isn't a horror game or a puzzle game at all. I mean, it could be, but like, just trust me with this. Uh, but basically, uh, yeah, this is how it looks like. Now the camera is rotating weirdly because I'm making it third person. I'm forcing it, but it should be first person. And when I zoom in, you can see you can see the body and everything. So. I think it looks pretty cool for now. Okay, next we're gonna go to Sketchfab. Basically, if you don't know what Sketchfab is, it's like, uh, it's the best site. It's the most favorite site for every single solo dev that doesn't know how to model. But like, uh, it just gives you a, a lot of free 3D models. And I think it's gonna hel uh, help me with the game a lot. But like, yeah, we're gonna need some SCP-173 models, as you can see. So, uh, I think this one will do it. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty default. It's pretty nice. It's gonna fit in. All right, there we go. And why does it have any textures? What? Right, that should be a simple fix, I think. Nope, that's not it. What? How? Okay, there we go. Finally got him in the game. But, like, currently he's way too big for the player. Like, this is him compared to a player right now. But, yeah, let's make him smaller. All right, so here's a paint demonstration on how this is going to work. So, we have the player, right? And he's going to shoot a ray cast in every direction on his screen and if he um if one of those ray casts hits the scp it's gonna know that it's on the screen so it it's not gonna move and if none of the ray casts hit uh then uh, the the scp is gonna move all right so that whole thing i just made and paint was i shouldn't have done that like i haven't thought about it being so heavy on the computer and it's pretty hard to implement like you don't know, uh, like, the exact dimensions of the camera, player's camera, then maybe uh, maybe one of the raycasts doesn't exactly hit, so it's not going to be precise. And, uh, yeah, I just it's just way too hard to make. So, I found this random reply to a post. He should have made a tutorial, because it's pretty good. He should have made a com community tutorial on the dev forum. But, like, it's just a random reply, and... Uh, it basically looks for vertices or, uh, vertex, whatever, on your screen, and if it's there, it's there, and vice versa. Uh, so he even uh, demonstrated it a bit, he visualized, uh, some parts and, and stuff. It's pretty hard, like, I don't know how, how I even got to make this, it, like, my mind was blown when it worked, I, like, 
Okay, so I finally implemented it, and uh, this is a showcase. So as you can see, currently I'm on it, and it's very precise. So and if it's not on, it's just not on it. You can see in the output. But yeah, I'm pretty proud of this. Even if you look down or if you look up, it's not. It's gonna work. And damn, look at him. All right, so I wanna, I wanna make him. Uh, let's be clear. I want him to look at you first, and then he's gonna move forwards. But for some reason, he's not looking forward. I even try multiplying by minus one or whatever, so he rotates towards you. But like finally, after a while, like so he rotates to you, but it just doesn't work. <laughs> like what? All right, I'm going to go crazy. Finally, it works. Uh, so for some reason, I had to multiply and not by minus one, but like by the math.cosinus of math.pi. And it worked. I'm just not going to question everything. It works. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so the next part, I'm going to try to make him move forward, actually. So I'm going to demonstrate how the moving works. So let's say, for example, the player is on an elevated area. And if we only move the SCP forwards, it's gonna it's gonna create an issue and he's gonna be stuck inside the ground or inside of the whatever i'm on so that's not what we're gonna do so what we're gonna do first we're gonna make him uh, go upwards so he's gonna be here where the green arrow ends for example uh and what we're gonna do we want to fire a ray down from from hit from him and if it hits the ground he's gonna teleport down and uh, basically he's gonna be as you can see on the correct position while making this i i ran into a lot of issues as you can as you can see like i have no idea why why that is happening like why why just going why is it not even going towards me why is it going sideways okay i finally got it to work he should kill you but you can't see it in the clip for some reason okay this felt like the greatest moment of my life because i've never actually uh what is it called this took me a while to make it took me uh, three days or four days and it was like full-on try hard making the game type of thing like i didn't even take any breaks so that was pretty hard to make and i felt pretty great okay so currently the game looks very empty and boring and nobody would play like like why would they play it but like uh, i'm gonna uh like probably dedicate myself to a lot of building because i've never actually built stuff before so i'm probably just gonna use some a lot of textures from online i find and uh i'm not gonna show you any of the building for now because i want to amaze you at the end because it looks very good and i don't want to bore you out with me just building <laughs> okay so i made a, a small room now this is not gonna be the final room it looks pretty empty and blank uh, so what i went i went to discord and i went on the dev forum and i've asked a lot of a bunch of people like how do i make this room less blank and uh, i also fixed the lighting a lot so the game looks very better or like the room it just like it feels like you're in a horror game like damn Oh, by the way, did I mention I made, uh, you can move objects and drag them? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Didn't take me like three days or something. Oh, did I also mention I made a flashlight? That was pretty simple. That took me like, that took me another three days because I had a lot of bugs. I mean, I had a one bug, but like, I, I just like, I just grabbed, I couldn't fix this. So I just grabbed the idea and just made, went with the normal flashlight. But hey, enjoy the finished experience from episode one.
Oh, so don't know if you noticed the sounds I added to the flashlight, and I also added the ambient sound. It makes the game feel scarier. But be tuned for the next video because I have big plans for it. I have a lot of new ideas. But yeah, if you like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe, and see you in the next one. Peace.